Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. This one is episode number 17. So for the last 17 days, we have uploaded every single day and there is only five days left on the tournament. So because of that, it is time for us to try and get as many points as possible. Now, before we fully jump into the video, do me a quick favor, check if you are subscribed. If you have been enjoying the series, the best way to support me is to simply subscribe. And with that being said, let's jump around right into today's episode. Wait, so I'm going through... What am I killing here as I go through? The mages. Ah, uh, there's a PK logging Tele in here. He said teleport. Yeah, yeah, there, there was a PK. A little late nights killing. 95 herb. Okay, we woke up. The bridge is starting in one minute. The starting points, 139.4. Okay, we got Trinket of the Bat. An Emblem of the Bat. I need to just do one hit per boss. Because otherwise my uh, damage gets nullified. Okay, another Emblem. Another Emblem. And another one. Another Emblem. Hmm, there's another Emblem. Okay, and I have full inventory, full looting bag of stuff, so I can't loot my dragon stuff anymore, but at this point I don't care about money. All I care about are points, and since this is the best time for us to get points, we're gonna leave some loot on the floor, which is which is okay. Uh, I only bank if I'm really forced to buy a PKR. If not, we are just pumping points, basically. Okay, another emblem. That is it, point-wise. From 139,000 to... 141, so only about 2,000 in this one. Not the best, not the worst. Uh, loot has been phenomenal though, once again. A lot of emblems and on top of that, a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff, really. A lot of uh, alkables, a lot of money. We can't complain. This is a reminder, if you are doing tasks in Deadman mode, unattune your sigils before you collect the, let's say, roots from either you or a magic tree. Uh, because otherwise it won't work. So as you can see, I unattuned my sigils. Now if I clear this, now I get the hard Varrock uh, diary completed. So there it is, perfect. Now I can reattune my sigils, do the farm run, then go back to bed and then figure everything out. There is 95 farming, four more levels to go. I think this actually might be a task. So 673, 737, nice. And 96. Okay, so those two levels we got from one farm run, which is huge. But I'm kind of running low on seeds now, so we'll need to figure out, well, we'll need to buy a bunch more basically. Our first dragon fruit, this might be a task, I'm not sure. I guess not. Good morning, everybody. 96 herb, three more levels to go. And yeah, just doing herb farming really now, trying to finish these two. Because after that, I can really start to just sell all the extra supplies that I have and I don't need to worry about it. Uh, right now, mainly I train herb when I would lose the herbs if I were to die. So I feel like it's better I get the XP first and then I don't care if I die with actual finished potions. Uh, but I'm gonna do this for a bit longer, probably finish another farm run because it is the morning and then actually start gaming. So we'll see how it goes today. Overnight we actually maintained rank 16. So I have like 10 to 12 thousand points extra from rank 25 which is really good. Finally have a little bit of breathing room and uh, I still have the chambers to do, the sire to do, grotesque guardians. I have a lot of points I can get and I still have a week to go so I'm not gonna rush them or anything like that. This is uh, this is pretty nice. Hey yo, somehow got to 97. I'm definitely stopping here, right? Surely. Hey, there's 97 farming. Uh, I swear after this farm run we're actually doing some gaming. Uh, but uh, oh, a million, a million XP to the next one. We're almost done though, almost. This is actually depression. My willow died. Fuck, maybe I can cast a resurrect spell, hold up, I'll figure this out. I can't have the willow die, I need branches. Okay, survive. Ah, there it is. Okay, so here I have a task, which is to make a Celastrus from scratch. Uh, that did it. Elite task, by the way, that's gonna be a lot of points. It already counted. Okay, that's, that's good. I'm happy to have that done. I'm gonna harvest the rest of it. This can be okay, fletching XP and money, actually, depending on how many of these we get, since we get five eggs. I'm skipping the whole snape grass 
poison ivy and potato cactus because yeah i don't want to like risk being there for too long so dragon fruit to go and we actually almost got another full level so that's huge but i think i forgot to open all my seed packs and i think I, there's like a lot of money hiding in that so we're gonna see if we get any good stuff there's one mahogany and you you sells for 300k like right now it's so crazy mahogany is 50k willows are 40k each like i'll leave this in because this is so much money that you can make from these and there's a magic seed as well that's like 200k easily celestial seed that's like pretty decent as well and another spirit seed which is huge as well so all in all very good to do this it is just a little bit sketchy being in the farming guild for so long okay you guys already know what time it is we are gonna try to do the hespori challenge right now i failed it yesterday but if we look at the tasks, I still have like six days to complete this anyways, but 36 seconds. I think it should be very doable. We just need to be smart with how and when we spec. So we're going to grab claws on top of what we're already running. Vengeance, undead, and we're going to go with formidable fighter, consistency and feral fighter, hoping for those feral fighter procs. That is basically the idea. Hopefully it works. We pop this. I don't know. We prevenge again. We do this. We start the fight. I hope this always hits tens. I think it does. Boom into boom. Good procs. One. Two. Bam. Bam. And Brock. That has to be it. That has to be it. Come on. It wasn't fast enough. Oi, oi, oi. Ice actually is pretty damn hard. I don't know. What could I do better? Maybe one hit in between. Maybe the claws were a bit slow. Uh, it's gonna be hard to reach this one. I'm gonna obviously try every day, but I'm trying to reach 036. So basically, one hit faster. Maybe two hits faster. Okay, well, we'll go again. Okay, so here I need to stop and try to kill it with Venge. Like this. That was easy. Okay, and the next kill I'll try to focus on is a perfect one, which I still haven't done. But I do believe if we were to look at the combat achievements and go on the Zolra, it should be kill count, kill count, kill count... Basically perfect Zolra and that's it. So we have 150 kills to get lucky on one kill to finish the perfect Zolra. I think we can do it. Hey, there is 25 kill count for one of the tasks. No, this one hits me. Bro, I was right there. No, I didn't know it was gonna spawn there. I didn't see it. That was the perfect kill that I just ruined, by the way. Ay ay ay. Ah, silly goose. Ah, but we get rewarded with a magic fang. First drop from Zolra on 27 kill count. And it's a decent one. That's a blowpipe, I believe, right? I'm gonna quickly take a look how much that goes for, but very happy. Oh, actually, never mind. That is a attachment for the staff. And it goes for 1.5 million. So, I mean, I can't complain. It's free 1.5 milli. I'll just commit and hope I hit. I don't know if it's a good idea, but if I hit, I win. If this hits, it's perfect. Come on. I didn't take damage. Yes, dude. Perfect Zolra. Yes. Now I just have kill count. So now I can bank all the random shit in my inventory. Oh my goodness. Dude, yes. Okay, nice. That's huge. That's huge. That's a lot of points. Ladies, gentlemen, Breachman mode starting in a minute. The world is absolutely packed. I could go to Australian, but honestly, with this many people, it's like, it is mess as it is. We're starting on 142.2, currently ranked 17. Uh, we'll see how many points we get. Honestly, if we get like 2,000 points, I'm happy. We can maybe get some early hits. Oh my, look at the amount of demons. That is a lot of people. Entity hide it on and just try to get some hits before stuff happens. Because the start is usually when you can get some free points because people come to the bridge a little bit late and we got one emblem already so this time i'm only gonna pick up herbs and dragon items is what i'm thinking sigil of potion master and trinket 
Okay. Didn't get the sigil, but did get the trinket. Hey, emblem. Trinket. Finally an emblem. Emblem. Trinket. Got it. Hey, emblem. Oh, trinket. Another one yoinked. That's global drop and I've gotten like two of those. Little heli yoink. Okay, my bag is full, so I'm just keeping this dragon stuff here now. The breach ends in two minutes, so let's keep pumping damage. That's it. Good breach. Uh, let's see points. Ended on 144, basically 145. I don't know how much I started on, but I think this was a good breach. If we were to look at the bag. Oh, that's a beauty. These are all worth a lot of money, obviously. I was really focusing on trying to pick up alcohols because I don't need herbs that much anymore. I basically have 99 banked in herb. So that has been a really good breach. Also, if I were to refresh right now, we would be rank 16, which is really good. And we are like 12,000 points ahead of the rank 25, which is solid, but it's sketchy, man. Oppa! Is that the best thing? I think that's a... Wait, Sir Visi, is that the helmet? Please tell me that's a helmet. That is so expensive. It is the helmet. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I will be using that probably in the final hour, but Sir Visi right now is 16 million. Okay, that is a huge drop. That is crazy, actually. That's a streamer luck right there. All right, let's make sure we put that to safety straight away. But now I have a, one more item for the final hour. Because then I don't need to worry about Venom. I don't need to worry about anything. Elite Clue Scroll. Let's see if we can do it. Sherlock. Should I do this instantly or what's the play? I could do this instantly. I just need to unattune my last recall. And then it's going to be remembering this place. I'll go do it. See, what, see what's up. Catch a black... Warlock. I don't think it's worth my time, I'm gonna be honest. How hard is this to catch? It's only level 45. This can't be that hard, right? What's my level? 34. So now I can just place this one and this. Good. How much XP do I need? What did I need? 45. But I just need to get to 40. So if this just gives me two level in Hunter, we're good to go. Nice. I can just play Exaggeration and complete the clue scroll. Is it like here, right? Hmm, there we go. So that did it, and now I can just speak to him again. And now I get a bloodhound thingy and we're good. Oh, he gave me another clue, scammer. Hey, yo. I don't think I can get there, can I? You need to do my arm quest, let's see. My, yeah, I'm not doing that. All right, well, it was a pleasure knowing you. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Which one is this one? Magic Fang on 60, that's a 30 to drop. I think this one's the worst. I think this one's one miller. Toxic stuff, yeah, it's only a mill though. But we'll take it, third drop. We got a little elite clue scroll situation right now. So it's time for a little break and it is time to check. We can definitely go to net is not. So we just eat to full, relog, bank our uh, last recall and we go do this. I'll let him hit me. Hello, he didn't hit me. Nice fits, thank you, please. Yes, one stepper, let's go. All right, here we go, little elite blue scroll. Huh? What? I got a ranger gloves into ranger tides, tides combo. What's the bonuses on these things? This, this is pretty good, by the way. All right, there we go, 98 herb. We're gonna try to push as close to 99 as possible, obviously. I don't know how many supplies I have or if, or if I'm even close enough, but we'll give it a shot. We'll try our best. There it is, another 99 on the account, 99 Herblor. Now I don't need to worry about just losing supplies. My biggest fear before that was when I die losing like, I don't know, 400 and an artist was like, well, if I lose 400 player potions, do I care? Not really, it's like 300k, 400k. So yeah, this is much better feeling. Uh, but right now it's gonna be time to get some easy points that I have been missing out on. Every single diary that comes with runecrafting as long as you're wearing Sigil of the Abyss, which gives you 10 times as many runes as usual, should be very easy to complete. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We should be getting a ton of points. So we're starting on 145, 800, and we're currently ranked 16 and it's getting really competitive. The rank 25 is only like 5,000 points behind. But if I click this, that should be Elite Diary and Easy Diary. And look at this, boom, just like that, points. And I'm gonna do that for a bunch of things right now. Okay, water runes, again. Boom, a bunch of points just like that. 
think that should work. Elite and hard tasks done. Beautiful. Okay, so that should also be a bunch of points. Nice, it's so fucking free. There's another elite task. This is so OP, by the way. 171235, just, just doing every single runecrafting task there is without actually having the requirement. Here's a little extra for some cosmics. Boom. Yoink. There we go, that worked as well, nice. Okay, so big little skyrocketing points to 146.3 and I've done more or less all aside from blood runes. So let's go ahead, gear up and go do blood runes as well. I believe with this, all the diaries revolving... Shit. Well, we'll do this later. Now that I'm 99 herb, I can also go ahead and try to complete all the herb lore related achievement tasks, which, you know, will give me more points, so... When I said easy points, I meant it. It's a lot I haven't done because I haven't done many diaries. They are just amazing points, especially the elite and the hard ones. So if I just go in here and I do this, that's an elite task which gives, you know, 60 something points. And then if you complete the whole tier, you get even more. So it's really good. Boop. 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 Nice. Okay, so boom and bam. Nice. Oh, don't tell me. I need to do barbarian minigame to do this. Ah. Nice. Well, that was annoying making this basket, but it's done. <laughs> Doing a little bit of skilling, the bridge is in an hour, and I tried to get my smithing up to 86 because then I can do all the elite diaries for points. I can max it in the future, sure, but for now the first goal is 86, then I can plus 5 boost it to 91. It's pretty chill and I'm multi-skilling runecrafting whilst I do this as well. Maybe this level seems a little bit random, but it really isn't. 83 smithing now allows me to train the method that I will use till 99, and that is Adamant Plate Bodies. There it is. This will be super fast, good money, so it's gonna be just about perfect. 4 a.m. breach starting in one minute. Starting points 146.4. Hopefully we get to above 149, so that would be ideal. 2.5k points would be great. I'll go for Goblin. Nobody ever goes for Goblin. Actually, Rex. Nice, that's for sure mine. Yes, yeah, sir. Drink at an emblem. Okay, let's go. So in this breach, I'm only gonna try to pick alcables, like this mystic rope top and dragon items, because I don't need herbs anymore. Opa, Morrigan Javs, nice. Another emblem, emblem, another emblem. I don't even know what I'm dying to. Like, does anybody have any idea what's damaging me even? Because I don't know. I have no clue. I have no idea what was damaging me, but this shit is crazy. I should have been dead. I just saw 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, another 40. I don't know, man. This game is pretty fun. We made it out, though. Holy shit. Absolute demon in Turbo Maximus on me. Fuck me, bro. That was crazy. I regeared super fast and we're back in action, but holy, that guy was scary. I think those were axes, but like, holy shit, those hurt. Another emblem, by the way. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, but this 4am shit is not working well for me. Dude, if I wasn't pre brewed to like, insanely high, would be, I would be dead. There we go, the breach is over, fellas. And the points? 150,000! Wait, that was insanely good breach. What? Oh, I gained so many ranks like this. We're gonna do a little late night outro. I am about to go to sleep, but before I leave, we're ending this episode being rank 15 with over 150,000 points. And we have about 15,000 points gap between the rank 26. So we're pretty safe up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you again tomorrow with another one. Have a good one and bye-bye.